Okay, so in this video, I want to start taking a look at how do we start to take our content from our Photoshop design, this design right here, and how do we start building uh, the nav bar, these other different areas of our site. So I'm going to begin first with the nav bar. So we want to start with is the nav bar. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to delete this text that comes over on this side. I'm going to open up my Photoshop file here and I'm going to grab my select tool, my rectangular, rectangular marquee. Now, what I want to do first is I want to come into Photoshop, into preferences, come to units and rulers. I want to make sure that it's set at pixels because I'm really thinking about pixels when I work on the web. So my first question is, okay, I need to make a box, a nav box, and what size do I want it to be? So I'm going to come on in here and take a look. Okay, and I'm thinking that, you know, what might be perfect is bringing it in at about uh, the height at about 215 and the width at about 200. So let's come on back over here and let's insert, insert a div tag. And I'm going to name this one nav. This will be a new CSS rule. It's an ID. So only be one of these on the page. I'll hit OK. I'm going to come to box here. I'm going to make the width of this nav will be 200. The height will be 215. Um, I'm going to set a margin. So I'm going to set a margin from the top. I'm going to put the margin at the top in at 10 pixels. And I'm going to put a margin from the left in at 10. And I want to come to another thing. I want to come to list because I'm going to use a list in here. And I want to make sure that there's none. I don't want any numbers there with it. So I'm going to hit OK. OK. And there we have it. Now I'm going to begin by inserting these um, different. And I can come into split here and I'll see. OK, here we have this. My cursor is right in here. Now I want to insert a list. So for my different um, parts of my nav navigation bar. So I'll come on in, insert, and I can come to layout, and I'm going to insert an unordered list. Okay, and look, the dot came in, so I'm going to have to go back and reset that rule, but I'll do it in a minute. My things are about the work, writings, content. So I come on in, about the work, writings, contact. Great. I can come back in. I can edit this rule and I'll get rid of that little thing. Come select it. Come back to window CSS styles and um, edit the rule. Okay. It should get rid of it, but it doesn't seem to be. Let's try one more time. I'm going to delete this and then re-put it back in and see if it will get rid of it. Okay, well, hold on for one minute. Should have gotten rid of it. It hasn't yet. I'm not going to worry about it just now. We're going to come back to that in a minute. All right, so the next thing we want to do, we want to ask ourselves, all right, how can we keep building this to make it look more like this file over here. So let's take a look. What I want to do is I'm going to actually select this selection right here. And let's open up our properties panel and let's actually make a new CSS rule. So new CSS rule, we'll say edit rule. And this is what we want it to be. We want it to be a compound based on our selection or we can even enter it in as a, as a class. We can also enter it in as a class. Now the difference with the class is that it, we can apply it to more than one of these shapes and that's exactly what we want to do. So let's actually name this list. Okay, and we're going to say okay. And we wanna come in, we're gonna add our background and our background is going to be the nav bar background. We're going to make a box. OK, 
Okay. And um, now here, let's come on in and let's look at list here. Let's get rid of this, see if that works. Come in, none. Okay. All right, now I wanna come back in and make sure that that's not on the repeat. So hold on for one minute. We wanna make sure that this is on no repeat. So background, turn off, no repeat, apply, okay. All right, so here we go. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna come in to these other ones and we want to insert and make it have the same background. So if I come on in here, I can say insert div, wrap around selection, we'll do the class, we'll make it list. Okay, there we go. Um, come to this one. Then we'll come and work on the next one. So we'll highlight it, insert the div, insert div, wrap it around the selection list. Okay, we'll come, we'll get our last one. Again, insert div, wrap it around the selection, we'll come in, it'll be list. Okay, now let's edit this list rule so it works a little bit better. So we're gonna come on in, we're going to edit the rule one more time. We have no repeat. We come to the box. Uh, we can make the height a little bit smaller. So we come on up to 55. We can hit apply. Okay. All right. We'll do this one more time. We'll come on over to list. Let's edit the rule a little bit more. Um, let's work with the the box one more time. And let's work with the padding because we want to move um, the words over and even we will center the words as well. So we come on in and we can look at the padding and we can say the padding from the top, we want it to go down 10 pixels. And when we do that, we want to subtract that from the height. So we'll go to 45 for the height. We'll hit apply. All right, let's go a little bit further. Let's go another 10. So we'll go 20, we'll bring this to 35. So again, when we take it away one place, we wanna add it in the other. Okay, that's probably too much. Let's put our padding in at 15. All right, I think that's perfect. All right, now the next thing that we wanna do is we're going to center this. So if I grab this, we can just hit align center and they all are centered. Now, Last thing I want to do is get rid of this little area right in here. But I still have this little problem with these little um, dots here. Let's see if I want to try one more thing. I could also go in and delete them. Oh, that one came out. That one came out too. This one looks like I um, somehow this got a little bit messed up right in here. So let me just fix this. We'll edit the rule one more time and then we'll come in and uh, we'll be all set. All right, so let's see. You know what I actually think I wanna do? I wanna come back onto this one right here and put re-put this command on it, this class on it. So I'll say clap, class list. All right, so there we go, that works. Now I'm gonna delete the other one though because it looks like there's some extra code. It always gets a little confusing at times. Looks like there's an extra line of code. Div class about, div class list, the work. Div class list. About div. I'm gonna delete this line. Let me see if this does it. It did it, there we go. All right, sometimes we have to go back into the code to make it all work out the way that it should. So we have our first thing done now. I can come back in over onto the nav bar and try to make this work a little bit more. Maybe even get rid of some of this more space so it fits in. So that's what we'll see. We get our design started and then we find ourselves constantly coming back in and fixing things up to make them a little bit better. So I'm gonna make my height 35. All right, there we go. Now it's fitting in a little bit more. And I must have, um, 
there's, I must have put a little bit of like mar stuff in here. So let me come back and look at this rule for nav, margin left, margin top. I'm going to lower this to five. Actually, even the margin on the top, I'm going to get rid of it. And there we go. Margin on the top for nav. Looks like it's starting to work a little better. It is sticking out a little bit the bottom, but I'm not going to worry so much about that. And I'm going to move on to my next thing. But in a minute, these are all also um, will be links. I don't have the links made yet, but I want to let my let Dreamer know that they're links. So I'll go to my properties panel, hit HTML, and put the star sign like so. Come on over. Put the pound sign. All right, now what I'm seeing here, these are all the default, um, the default colors for the visited, for the for what a link is. These are the default colors. And I can easily change that also. A great place to actually go and get these are by going in to the appearance right onto the properties panel. If you hit page properties and you go to the links, you can change them all you know, very, very easy. I can make this my link color. I could make my visited links this color, my rollover links. my active links, you know, if you want to even differentiate the colors, if you'd like to go for it, I could undo, you know, um, never underline. Okay. Now all my colors, all my links have changed. Now, where do I see all of these the ones that I just have created? Um, if I come on into my CSS styles, those ones file, save all, uh, are maybe aren't probably necessarily on my sheet, just yet, if I go to all, they those ones I just created, let's see, where are they? They're right down here. We can see we have link, visited, hover. Now what I want to do though is I want to put all of these links, all of these directly into um, the page that I have. So I could click all of these, I could, uh, and body, why not? And then I can control click. I can move the CSS rules and I'm going to move them to style CSS. Okay. And now they all are here. Now, another nice thing you might want to do is, which I'm going to do for this day is I'm going to grab the hover and I am going to edit this rule and I am going to uh, change the color of the hover to white. And I am going to set a background color and I'm going to make the background color nice and dark, maybe more in the dark of the color of that it is. So there we go. I'll say okay. All right. So there we have it. File, save all. Now, all of these, if I come on in and take a look at my style CSS, I can see that these rules are all um, Listed of their own. Now, the way that I've set these rollovers, these will be for the entire page. So if I wanted it to just be in the nav bar, I'd have to take that rule um, and I would just go a link semicolon and then uh, write background image. Well, I'm sorry, color. I would just take that code and put it up right under there. All right, so there we have it. We have successfully added the nav bar to our site. In the next video, I'll go over how to add this, the remaining part of the next of this column.